Hey guys, this is Ram from Crossmind Studio. Welcome back to Chapter Three of RBD Simulation Series. And today we are going to make this abstract example from the trailer, where different rigid bodies are kind of moving here and there in abstract format. So, like some point of time, it's uh, it's attracted towards the left, and when and sometimes it's moving on the right. So there is no particular flow into the animation so for all this to happen what we need to do is uh, just bring some different force fields to do that we are not going to use manual force fields instead we are going to use particles so that we can manage things easily i'll give you a quick example so what's going on let's bring a few primitives over here cube and uh, a cone and maybe a torus if you want you can bring any you can bring any shapes you want all right so I just give all of these uh, some smooth shading so if you see these kind of shading issues all you need to do is uh, in the object data just enable auto smooth all right for these kind of sharp corners now for these i'll make a duplicate of various sizes some some big shapes some small shapes and some like really granular so just just populate your scene with plenty of geometry and uh, so that it's, it looks more chaotic more uh, uh, basically filled with a lot of good colorful stuff i have i think uh, quite some so i'll just show you this example with a lighter lighter uh, scene instead of filling it way too much so we are familiar with the basics uh, we covered uh, in chapter one and two so all we need to do is for this ground floor and uh, make this one passive and maybe make this one into mesh if you need to so let's keep it on default for now and uh, for rest of the stuff I'll uh, move this up. Sorry about that. If you guys need screencast, so I don't really know why you guys insist on it. So it's, anyways. So quick effect um, for all of these, we are going to go to the object mode uh, in the object menu and rigid body add active, and uh, this should uh, this should bring us a nice nice simulation that that we expect from a default rigid body simulation uh, setup all right now as we discussed about the force field so for these rigid bodies to attract towards a point we are going to use a negative force field uh, let's say if i bring one uh, force field over here and make this one to minus 500 then when i play the animation all of this is going to get attracted toward uh, towards this point so minus 5000 just to give you a much more evident example so this is what we need but at this uh, moment it's just one point and it's gonna stop at some point so we need much more chaos we need much more chaos in this let's bring some particles on this plane and we don't want any physics in the particle so instead of newtonian we are going to make it none and we we want these particles to stay for a for a, a very few duration like maybe let's keep it for 10 frames and not so many particles maybe just 50 or 100 let's make it 100 yeah so i think uh, this is good so i'll make it 70 for now and uh, on these particles let's uh, bring one uh, force field sorry force field settings uh, we don't want these particles to affect the other particles but uh, the geometry uh, which is uh, in the rigid body so i won't enable the self effect and uh, this force field needs to be force and minus 2500 strength for now now when when i play this animation let, let me just bring another view so that we can see see different things so yeah so at this moment you can see when when particle was popped up here everything kind of moved towards the right and now it's moving over here now it's moving over here but the thing is it's kind of moving everything where the particle particle emit so we don't want that we want all of these particles to have certain certain range and influence uh, influence fall off and so that some particle um, uh, get like a uh, separated over here i mean uh, some some rigid body get separated over here some get over here so that that's what we are planning to do over here and uh, for for that what we need is uh, we need some sort of range for these particles so i'll just measure this one with the measure tool maybe i want around uh, four meters yeah four meters or something 
okay oh, so this is just an example it is not the final file so it doesn't matter what i do over here so that's okay i'll give you a breakdown of the material and all in a moment so for now yeah there you go so i have few particles a uh, few rigid bodies attracted toward here towards here some over here some over here but the thing is now anything which is uh, moving out of the uh, plane over here is kind of just falling down so you might would want to make your plane bigger or you can also also bring one uh, another plane or maybe just a cube and just give it sort of a boundary so i'll just delete the the upper face and uh, just move everything down and this one because this have a convex uh, shape going on so we are going to make this one into passive and make it into mesh now anything colliding with these walls uh, would just basically yeah won't be able to move out of the frame so that's about it this is the whole setup and that's all you need to do to get this kind of abstract motion obviously i did play uh, much more uh, with the overall setting like how many particles i need how much uh, how much rigid rigid body numbers i want but the principle is this so i'll give you a breakdown of the final scene now now before i do that you can always bring a secondary force in this and uh, maybe you can uh, bring one wind force let's say if i bring wind then uh, uh, maybe if i bring 5000 wind with a with a fall of uh, of uh, 4 meter then things are going to look a bit different see so uh, there are many possibilities with this so maybe not so much maybe make it subtle like 2500 wind then it's gonna look different so it, it kind of have a secondary behavior and you can make it wind or maybe uh, if not wind like if you want vortex you can make vortex so any kind of motion you can bring it over here by combining multiple force fields you can even bring multiple planes but that's totally experiment all right so let's move to the final scene all right so just to give you an overview of what's going on in the final file so here's my final file and i have exactly the same setup let me just bring uh, the plane which is using the particles so over here you can see i have 500 particles uh, with the self effect force field minus 2500 and 4 meter range going on i think in the secondary yes i'm using the wind force in the secondary force field so it's exactly the same thing guys now just to bring uh, some more interest in the background i used it displacement on this plane in the background so once i baked everything the, like particle simulation uh, and uh, the rigid body simulation so i brought a displacement in the background it's not actually colliding with this so if you want this to collide with this then uh, obviously you will have to uh, rebake this but i didn't want that i didn't want that so i'm just using this uh, as a secondary effect so this displacement is uh, moving with a with a empty so this empty i'm using uh, for the controls which is over here so it displacement you can see in the coordinates i'm using object and you can assign empty from here so this is controlling the texture of the displacement which is uh, over here so pretty basic stuff uh, if you're coming from the beginners tutorial series on this channel you sh uh, you shouldn't have a hard time following this and then uh, for the material there is uh, there is uh, a very basic material in the in the background so basically i'm using principled bsdf let me just uh, disconnect everything so i'm using a, a a gradient kind of a sorry what am i using over here just a moment guys and this in uh, roughness so basically i i did combine a few textures so i had this uh, wave uh, sorry 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 so a bit of performance issue just a moment yeah so what i did was just to bring uh, another layer of uh, detail so i'm not sure if you guys can see it in the video or not but it kind of uh, moves in a fluid way so this texture is basically i'm using a multiply node to combine these musgrave and musgrave with the help of wave texture over here 
so simple simple abstract so you guys can uh, basically try out anything with like uh if you just simply plug uh wave texture into musgrave or musgrave texture into wave then it's gonna give you some abstract so just play around with it all right nothing like uh, it's it's definitely not calculated or anything so i just tried a bit bit of abstract and uh, then i did uh, animate these values like the scale and uh, the 4d time value so i animated these value you can see the keys over here and uh, that's why you see this animation so there is a displacement animation there is a texture animation and this texture then uh, into color ramp over here and uh, gives you a much more just a moment yeah um, vibrant thing and then in hue saturation i kind of uh, changed this into pink so you don't need to use hue saturation you can just simply bring pink color over here and then uh, yeah so this invert node is not doing anything so i i was just trying to uh yeah so just forget about that all right and then uh, similar values i'm using uh into roughness so this texture i basically subdued it a bit instead of such contrast uh, black and white values i made it into sort of a gray texture and that i am using into roughness a really subtle effect and uh, for for the main ball so for these colorful balls over here you might would think there are plenty of other materials going on but the thing is it ju it's just one material and uh, all i did was i i'm kind of using an object info node and uh, for uh, for every object this hue saturation node is going to create a random color so if i disable this you can see every ball have the same material so instead of uh, uh, having the same hue value for every object i'm using random from the object info node and that gives me just with the one material i can uh, bring in so many colors for so many different uh, objects and uh, this hue saturation node uh, combined with the uh, uh, texture over here so you can see uh, in the color over here i'm bringing a texture which is uh, this texture and uh, then combined with hue saturation you uh, basically i have multiple colors so in this texture there's a very basic wave texture combined with musgrave just like the background example so nothing fancy over here and uh, you guys can download this file from gumroad or patreon Go uh, users gonna have this file on their wall by the end of this week and then just to bring a bit more just to break the flatness in the material i used displacement but this displacement is not actually a true displacement so over here uh, i'm not actually using the experimental feature instead it's like a it kind of gives you this bump kind of effect so it's not actually true displacement not distorting the geometry but i i just wanted a very subtle effect for this all right so and uh, yeah for the gold balls over here these these golden uh, uh, geometry balls i have a metallic uh, enabled in the principal bsdf and in the roughness i'm using a wave texture just to break the highlights here and there and then uh, instead of having the same kind of specularity and the roughness uh, i'm using roughness uh, map so just random very basic wave texture that's about it so this is the whole setup and for the lights i have a, a legendary hdris which come with uh, blender's default folder and uh, i think i'm using a uh, coat room hdri so if i go to the yeah courtyard courtyard is the best hdri over here so for the lights lights i think i have a let me just walk you through this again i'll bring down the quality of the render so that it doesn't disrupt the voice so this light is coming from the hdr and on top of that i brought one uh, area light over here and it's not adding much but just uh, just a bright spot and few speculars over here and there okay and then uh, other than this area light i have another area light which is uh, over here towards the right and this one uh, 
just filling in over here in the right so very subtle effect guys nothing nothing much i think you can achieve this uh, render this out with a straight plane hdr and uh, hdr and it's it's gonna look fine and uh, on the left i just uh, added a different color like a bit cooler color i guess it's blue light yeah and then uh, i have one final light which is uh, adding a kind of a greenish tint if i disable the hdri you will be able to see much more uh, the effect of the lights so i have this light which is adding uh, uh adding sort of a greenish color over here and then i have this light adding blue color over here and then i have uh, this light which is making some bright spots over here and giving some nice specular dots on every object for the golden highlights and then i have a uh, another spotlight i uh, sorry the area light going on over here so very basic stuff guys and then uh, you can uh, enable your hdr try out different hdrs try out different things and uh, i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this chapter it was very short and quick nothing much going on going on and if you have been following this series I think it's pretty basic stuff but this example is uh, a really interesting one so I just wanted to share it with you guys so I, I would love to see what you guys create with this one if you want this file you can buy this from Gumroad or you can check out my patreon page there are uh, different tiers for different benefits and uh, I will be also holding another workshop this month two workshops one I will be creating this uh, these uh, fancy planets with just the displacement it's a fun exercise and uh, maybe we can discuss a few more use case scenarios for the displacement and then we are going to talk about this pizza which is uh, made using manta flow so the setup is quite simple but the overall uh, the assignment is quite a fun and in next chapter we are going to talk about cell fracture feature and then how we can use these uh, uh, cell fractures with a rigid body and then uh, basically work our way around it so there is no perfect solution for this but then there is always a workaround so let's find out in the next chapter i'll post it in two days i'm working really hard on this so just stay patient guys and uh, yes so check out the patreon page and i want to thank all of these wonderful people for supporting this channel and everyone over here on the youtube yeah i'll see you guys in the next chapter stay tuned subscribe bye bye